Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Classic Craft. I know I've um, I've been gone for a few weeks, uh, as far as YouTube is concerned, not really left the the country or anything like that. Oops. Um. Anyways, uh, been having some issues. Got kind of busy with work. Um, some other things like that, so I haven't been able to have time to record. Also, I recently took my external hard drive that I have here. It's a 1.5 terabyte external hard drive and I moved all the files off of it onto a server computer I built. So that way I can record directly onto this hard drive and not have to um, worry about space requirements or recording on the same hard drive that I am playing the video game on anymore. Uh, so hopefully the gameplay will be a little bit smoother um, for you guys. I really don't think I had too bad of quality before, but I was running out of disk space. Uh, Fraps, as most of you guys know, generates a huge uh, file um, when it's done. Uh, Audacity, those files aren't that big. But Fraps, I mean, we're getting up to like 20 gigabytes, you know, and, and even more so than that even. So I just decided I would record to a, a separate hard drive altogether. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, last time I left off, we had just discovered this area. I took this part down a couple blocks. Uh, inside here, I built myself a nice little storage area. Um, kind of organized things a little bit. Got most of my building blocks over here. Got a buttload of cobble, not so much dirt. Uh, you know, just just trying to keep it easy for myself to be able to reach and grab what I need. Down here we got a uh, brewing station. I always have three of them ready to go, and each one with awkward potion, which is of course just putting some of the the nether warts into it. Um, eventually, I'm going to have this chest right here filled up with all the ingredients, and then all of these chests will be finished uh, potions, stuff like that. This is just some extra water bottles I had made up. Um, got an enchanting room over here. Anvil put the floor as uh, crafting blocks because I usually forget to craft my picks or armor before I come here so figured that was a good idea to do that uh, let's head out here real quick by the way this isn't like a finished project this is just something I did while I'm trying to gather enough resources to start to build uh, down here um, I just decided to kinda dig down and see what was going down down here and then as I was digging down I think I believe it was like right around here I found some coal and I just started digging out the coal and I found out that there was a huge ravine over here and uh, so I made my way down here and this has been stuck there for like the past week it hasn't gone away so it's a server glitch I'm assuming so anyways found this ravine down here um, oh shoot I ain't got time for that guy right now but anyways there was uh, an abandoned cave oh cool let's get this actually real quick after I take care of this guy uh, Oh, there it is. Great. Great day, great day. Stuck in the web. Awesome. Taking a bit of damage because I'm just wearing some random armor. I got off some mobs. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't been over this area at all. Nice. How am I going to get? Three. Nice. Good job. Good job. This is only Fortune 2. Anyways, I uh, found this abandoned mine shaft down here. So I was pretty happy about that. Already ran through and... Uh, not ransack the entire thing but I did get a lot of resources which is pretty helpful and I'm hearing a slime I'm pretty sure which is great because I was kinda gonna go look for a, um, a swamp so I could uh, you know get some slime stuff like that uh, but if this is a slime chunk then maybe in the future I'll be able to build some kind of slime farm out of it I've seen that before on YouTube so that would be pretty cool to have start selling the slime or something out here uh, I just kind of set up a little this is my little pen right here got a buttload of chickens in here uh, trying to collect eggs got some sheep that I'm gonna shear later got some pigs and some cows the cows were mainly because I needed uh, I needed those bookshelves but I got them before I really bred too many cows so I don't know uh, right here I just set myself up a potato and wheat farm the wheat was obviously for feeding the animals potatoes for feeding myself 
Uh, I got some carrots, some sugar cane, uh, some pumpkins because I really do want to start uh, using pumpkin pies. I found it, in my past experience those were really good for, for keeping your saturation up so you don't have to eat constantly. Um, so I'll set up a chicken farm, I'll set up an automatic pumpkin ha uh, harvester and obviously an automatic uh, sugar cane or sugar reed farm. Um, in here We've got Frederick, uh, keep care of him, and uh, just kind of farming some snow that I might need to use in the future. Not sure about that, if that's going to happen or not. But good to have, since I am in an extreme hills biome, and there's snow everywhere, so at least he's not going to die. Um, so anyways, when I first put a portal out to find this place, I went the wrong direction in the nether. I went, instead of going, I think it was like negative 200 blocks, I went positive 200 blocks and that threw me off. And when I plopped my portal down and came out the other side, uh, it was a plains biome and I found two horses out there. So I went ahead and brought them over here and then I bred them and got another horse. Uh, one of these saddles was given to me. The other two I found in a, in a chest that I found inside of the caves. Set up some uh, hay bales out here just for looks until I you know get something set up obviously like we talked about I do want to put a nice big castle or some kind of building right here and then have a pen for these guys out there I'm not really gonna do an old Western type feel like everyone was doing when the horse update originally came out but uh, where the horses stay in their stable then yeah it's, it's gonna have that kind of feel to it but the overall area will not uh, most likely and again those are just speculations um, I think right over this hill, I found something. Yeah, look at that. Look at this area. It's not loading in very well. There it goes. This looks like it'd be pretty neat to do something with. Um, I don't know if I want to do a building over here. Maybe some kind of. Well, let me see. How do they? All right. Well, whatever. I I did the reload and didn't really come in. I have it at. Uh, here, I'll show you guys real quick. With the video settings, I have it set to 16 chunks. So. I don't know why that's not loading in, but whatever. Maybe I'll do like a roller coaster over here or something cool uh, in the future. Again, just speculations. Um, nothing really written down or set in stone that I want to do. Uh, up here, I've had the biggest issue. I cannot get. Let me text me. Hold on one second. 1.2. Yes. I sent my girlfriend to the store to grab some chicken for dinner tonight and uh, it's her first time buying chicken so she just had some questions anyways uh, having the hardest time trying to get this ice to not form I put underneath here there's a uh, there's a lava and then also underneath here I mean you can kind of see that it's lit up there's lava under there and I figured you know with the ice being just too gosh darn it what kind of side we're trying to eat healthier and uh, we'll see how that goes I guess but anyways I put lava under here uh, trying to get this ice to melt and I figured you know the ice being just one block or well, technically two blocks above the lava that it would definitely melt and stay water the entire time but that is not the case I even tried hiding torches under there uh, not that I, I don't know how that works um, if you guys got some suggestions for me you guys can definitely leave it in the comments I'd be uh, much appreciative of that uh, let's go here. Oh yeah, these leather boots got a feather falling for. I can't really beat that. Anyways, I'll show you guys something I did today. Nothing extremely fancy. Just kind of wanted to get a start on the portal area and uh, give you the feel that you're actually going into the nether. Obviously, I'm going to change this up. It's really bland at the moment, but eventually I'll throw some like some nether rack in here, or excuse me, nether rack. Some uh whatever the, the stuff you find in the fortress can't think of the name of it right now throw that in here I'll throw some um, some some uh, quartz pillars or something but oh man that's kind of loud let's let's see what that let's see. audio ambient environment no it's not it at all uh, blocks oh, blocks okay right on Oh, it seems like that lessened the noise of the portal as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, 
anyways yeah I just want to show you guys this I just threw this together real quick today like I said it's still uh, a project that I'm working on hold on one second I got another text she knows I'm recording too I told her buffalo chicken rice okay sure I don't know why I told her it's up to her and she just keeps asking me I'll eat anything I'm starving right now I'm not even gonna try to lie um, so yeah, I just kind of want to show off to you guys what I've been up to. Um, I got a few more Steam games. There was another Humble Bundle that came out. Uh, so I got like Fear 2, Fear 3, there's a few more in that one. Um, I already had the Batmans and so I gave them away to a friend of mine. Uh, if you guys don't have the Batman games, I'm not sure if that Humble Bundle deal is still going on, but if it is, go on there. I mean, you pay like five dollars and you're getting you know over seventy dollars worth of games if you were to buy in retail price still uh the batman games by far one of my favorite i own them on pc and on xbox that's how much i loved them um they it's just they're a blast they really are i think it's unreal who made them did a really good job uh so yeah this is the area uh i'm not I'm not sure what kind of building I want to do here, but I know I want to do something kind of big, uh, a little extravagant, make it look nice, um, something to be proud of, you know, if you will. Uh, I'll do some building in later episodes. I might also do some uh, caving in some future episodes, kind of show you guys my way of getting resources. I don't know about doing some strip mining because that I think would get a little repetitive and boring to you guys, even though. Personally, I enjoy strip mining a lot. Uh, it's almost therapeutic just sitting there, hammering away in a line, finding diamonds, getting excited, doing my thing. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, another reason why I haven't been on very much or been recording in the past couple of weeks is I've been playing a bunch of Counter Strike Global Offensive. Uh, I bought Counter Strike, um, the original game that was based you know off the half-life and all that stuff way back in the day and I think like back in 99 or 2000 is when I bought it I've uh, been a huge fan of Counter-Strike all my life uh, Counter-Strike Source came out wasn't a really big fan and my buddy who also used to play very competitively with the Counter-Strike 1.6 scene told me that Counter-Strike Global Offensive was coming out and that uh, it was supposed to kind of be like a rebirth of Counter-Strike 1.6 and it definitely was it way better than Source ever was the competitive uh, competitiveness of Counter-Strike Global Offensive is just phenomenal I love the game um, obviously there's a lot of trolls on there it's the internet and it's you know 2013 but great game um, when I'm not playing competitively I'm always on the Swooble server which I'm an admin on and that's just it's it's a blast on there you go on there and play some fun game modes uh, they have a mini game server that I go on all the time uh, it's, you know it's not all just like uh, it's not all just trying to kill the enemy and you know this and the other sometimes like on the minigame servers there's uh, race maps where you're racing against all the other players on the server and then you know depending on how far in the race you get uh, will determine what kind of gun you get or what kind of weapon whether it's more powerful or just a knife or a pistol you know stuff like that uh, the jailbreak server, man, that one is the one I'm on most frequently, and uh, it's it's a blast. There's a lot of young younger kids that play there, but then you know when I'm thinking about it back in the day, I bought Counter Strike. I was like 11 years old, I think. I was either 10 or 11 when I bought it, so I can't complain too much. But anyways, I'm an admin on those servers. Uh, if you guys do play Counter Strike Global Offensive, I definitely suggest that you guys go and check it out. It's it's just such a fun game. Uh, the Swoogle server is by far my favorite servers. I've tried playing on other servers, and uh, it seems like the administration on those servers and just the overall uh, feel from the players that you get is just not very welcoming. Doesn't really make you want to stay like the Swoogle servers does uh, do. So if you guys want, uh, I will post the Swoogles uh, forum in the links. That way you guys can go check them out. And uh, check out their uh, their servers. You know, let me know what you think. Um, but anyways, that's probably gonna do it for today's episode. 
like I said, I didn't really have anything planned as far as like building or whatever. I just kind of want to give you guys an update of where I'm at and why my videos have been lagging so hard. But now that I'm a little bit more stable, uh, I probably will be having videos up again once a week, hopefully. Um, I have been running into an error with my laptop recently where it's been crashing for some reason when I'm like if I'm playing a video game and watching a YouTube video or whatever it, it crashed on me last night it crashed on me today uh, I think the video card might be uh, bad or something I'm not sure what's going on with it but I contacted iBuyPower and uh, I'm probably going to be sending my laptop in to have it repaired uh, I'm going to check out my other computer the one that I built that I put all the files on and see if it's capable of recording at a decent pace. I really don't want to record if it's going to be like, you know, all choppy and, and whatever else. I'm sure you guys wouldn't want to be watching that. I'm not trying to drop viewers because of the shitty quality. So, anyways, I don't know if. I, I really don't know. I might be sending the computer off this week. Uh, I might be sending it off, you know, next week or whenever I get the money because I think I have to pay for shipping or something like that. Uh, I think it's just barely outside the warranty. I mean, like, when I say just barely, I mean, like, just a week or two weeks. I, I bought this thing while I was overseas, and uh, I bought it just around this time, so that's kind of unfortunate. I also have to send back my uh, Samsung Blu-ray player because for some reason recently it's decided that it doesn't want to play regular DVDs so I got all these electrical <clears throat> electronical equipment issues I got going on that I gotta kinda of figure out what I'm gonna do about but uh yeah anyways uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like uh, refer a friend subscribe comment whatever you guys want to do uh, or just you know idly pass by and enjoy the time uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos um, and as always, uh, any constructive criticism that you guys might want to give me, definitely leave it on the page. Uh, you guys can check me out. I'm usually logged into Skype or Steam or Origin, uh, always on some kind of social media. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Later.